welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will design an adjustable peak clipper circuit we would be simulating this circuit using the KiCad tool so before going into this design or the tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below in this particular circuit you can notice that there is two back-to-back -back series connected Zener diodes which is used to clip or limit the output amplitude of an inverting amplifier. The design reference has been given in this particular tutorial where we would design an adjustable peak cl clipping circuit to clip approximately with plus or minus 3 volt to 5 volt and the design calculation is given below for your reference now let us start to simulate this particular circuit on the KiCad tool now double click on the peak clipper this particular schematic window opens now click on place symbol and place this particular cursor on the schematic window you can see the global library loads from the global library search for LM741 OPAM and place this particular OPAM on the schematic window right click on properties select edit property define the reference as U1 the value again click on edit model and select the LM741 model now click on alternate node sequence and type and place this on the schematic window click on mirror around x-axis and select OK now we have to place the diodes in the schematic window so type p spice and select the diode symbol and place this particular diode on the schematic window Now click on diode and select the diode reference as D1 and select the edit spice model. Now we have to select the models for this particular diode. So select the diode as 1N750 or we can also select 1N749 click on alternate node sequence and define the alternate node sequence as 2 and 1 now define the value of the diode as 1N750 and select the orientation as plus 180 and click OK now similarly edit the properties of second diode where we have to define the model for 1N750 or we can use 1N749 diodes now select the alternate node sequence define this as 2 and 1 and click OK now we have to place the resistors for this particular circuit so type P spice and select the resistor symbol for the simulation now right click go to properties edit property define the orientation as plus 90 now right click and select duplicate now place this particular resistor and 
again we can duplicate multiple number of time but for this particular circuit we require four resistors so we will place four resistor in the schematic window now right click on the resistor and define the reference as R1 and the value as 470 ohm next right click on the resistor define the property as R2 and select the value as 1 kilo ohm right click on resistor and select edit property define the value as 1.5 kilo ohm right click on resistor click on edit property define the reference as r4 and the value as 470 ohm now click on place symbol and place the voltage source in this tutorial we require three different voltage source so click on v source and place three different v source accordingly now click on place power port and place the ground connection for each and every voltage source so place three ground connection in this particular schematic Now click on place global label and define the label as VCC. Place this on the schematic window. Again place the label VEE and place this particular label on the schematic window and place the label V of 1 or V of N and place this label on the schematic window. Now place this particular global label VEE, VCC and VN on the schematic window. Now click on wire, connect the VN to resistor R1. From resistor R1 connect this to resistor R4 and connect from resistor R4 to the terminal number 2 of the op amp and from the terminal number 3 to the resistor R4 connect the VCC to pin number 7 and VEE to pin number 4 the terminal 2 of the diode is connected to the resistor R4 and from the terminal 1 of diode is connected to terminal 1 of diode 2 and the terminal 2 of diode is connected to the output of op amp connect the resistor r3 to the diode d2 and the op amp and the other end of resistor r3 to the terminal 2 of op amp now place the ground connection on the schematic click on wire and connect the resistor r4 to the ground connect the label VCC to the positive end of supply source and connect the negative end to the ground. Similarly, connect the VEE label to the positive end of source and negative to the ground and VN 
to the positive end of the source and negative to the ground. Now we have to define the value for this particular voltage source. So right click on the voltage source, define the reference as VCC value as 15 volt. Right click on the voltage source, click on edit property, define the reference as VEE, value as minus 15, click on edit spice model, define the DC value as minus 15 volt and click OK. Right click on this particular voltage source, click on edit property, define the reference as V in, the value as zero, go to edit properties and define sinusoidal DC offset as zero, amplitude as five volt and frequency as one kilohertz, click OK. Now click on place and click on edit text. Now place this particular text in the schematic window. Now, okay, so this particular register, I think uh, we have to change because uh, it's of uh, same annotation. So change this reference to R2. And uh, we will also use uh, 1N749 diode for the simulation purpose. So pl place uh, 1N749 and click OK for both the diodes. Now right click on LM741, click on properties, edit properties and click on edit spice model. Make sure that the alternate node sequence is 32746 and click OK. Now click on tools and uh, select the simulator. Click on run and stop simulation. Click on probe, place the probe on the V1 you can see the input waveform. Now click on probe and place the probe on the output. You can see the clipping of the output amplitude of the inverting amplifier. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose request you to like share and subscribe my channel below